The title of the paper is Learning Temporal Video Procedure Segmentation from an Automatically Collected Large Data Set. Temporal video segmentation is a fundamental video understanding task and has been widely researched in recent years. There are two subtasks, video action segmentation and video procedure segmentation. Video action segmentation aims to recognize what, what actions happen inside the video, while video procedure and segmentation aims to segment the video into a sequence of video clips. The video action segmentation task relies on predefined action labels and is hard to scale to various open domain videos. To overcome this limitation, the video procedure segmentation task tries to divide a video into several category independent procedure segments. Here is an example. However, there are few visual procedure segmentation datasets in the research community. The table gives a comparison of existing datasets for temporal video segmentation. Early sets for temporal video segmentation focus on video action segmentation, most of which only involve a specific domain such as cooking. This motivates us to build a large visual procedure segmentation dataset. Our key insight is that a large number of instructional videos contain explicit speech utterance of procedure steps, including step one, step two. This uh, features make it possible for the machine to automatically generate the segment labels. To generate a large dataset, we build a four-step workflow. Um, the first, we collect the instructional videos by searching the video titles using keywords like how to. Then we select the well-organized video by filtering out um, some invalid videos like either too long or too short. And then we um, take the ground truth segmentation time step and finally, we did the data quality check. The difference between the TIPS dataset and the existing dataset is that TIPS is large scale and open domain, and also TIPS are continuous and automatically generated. Now we introduce the new multimodal transformer model. Uh, the model includes four major modules. First, there are two extractors to extract video and text features separately. And then we adopted the self-attention model to encode each modality and uh, another self-attention model to fuse the multimodal fusion. And then we adopted the, a temporal convolution network followed by a linear layer to predict the final segmentation labels. Oh, and finally, we adopted the MS to sharpen the predicted boundary. During the training phase, we use 1D Gaussian to blur the ground choose boundary. And during the test phase, instead of simply predicting each frame by a threshold, we use a non-maximal suppression for boundary detection. And many segmentation tasks use uh, MLU as the evaluation metric, which calculates the intersection over unit operations. Um, however, the MOU metric lacks of consideration of the following two factors. On one hand, the different steps usually have different importance. On the other hand, the MOU metric focuses on whether each prediction precisely overlaps ground truths without consideration of the recall. So, um, we uh, to tackle this limitation, we propose a new evaluation metric, the experienced IOU called EIOU. We penalize both the superfluous and uh, missed predictions and add length normalization for the final evaluation. Here is an experimental result. Uh, on one hand, we find that the transformer backbone improves the performance of the baseline MSTCM model, and also additional temporal convolution layer and pre-training ways and multimodal transformers, as well as the newly proposed Gaussian boundary works well too. And finally, we did the user study of our newly proposed evaluation metric uh, by uh, applying a side-by-side -side pairwise comparison. And also we did qualitative results. We found that videos with explicit sync dynamics and distinct actions works well, but videos with fine-grained objects and actions are harder to deal with. Thank you.